This just in, Cedar Point just announced today, September 6th, that Top Thrill Dragster is officially being retired. Yes, it's final. Top Thrill Dragster is going to be no more, but it does sound like the coaster still has a future at the park in some way. Here is the official press release from Cedar Point, and they stated on social media that we have an important update to share regarding our Top Thrill Dragster roller coaster. And then they go on to say, after 19 seasons in operation with over 18 million riders experiencing the world's first Stratocoaster, Top Thrill Dragster, as you know it, is being retired. Now notice the as you know it. However, Cedar Point's legacy of ride innovation continues. Our team is hard at work creating a new and reimagined ride experience. We'll share more details and information at a later date. All I have to say is, wow. Like, I'm kind of sad, but at the same time, I'm thrilled that the park decided to not remove Dragster altogether. So I think this is really the most positive news we could really get because I've been saying for a long time now in my videos that I really don't see Dragster reopening the same way it was with the hydraulic launch and all the other features it offered just due to the reliability aspect and the safety aspect. Now, with the whole as you know it, it really kind of makes you wonder what exactly is Cedar Point going to be doing to Top Door Dragster. Now I'm going to give you my initial thoughts and literally this news just broke around 10 minutes ago. So I'm just very like flustered and just, again, not sad, but just very, very excited to see exactly what the park could be doing. Because we know the relationship between Intamin and Cedar Fair isn't the best. So... That leads me to think, will this be Intamin going forward? What if we would have another coaster manufacturer use the same supports as Dragster, but yet install their track, their ride system and trains onto this coaster and maybe add a little bit more to the layout? Now, I will admit that idea is absolutely crazy. And here is another one to throw into the fire. What if Cedar Point would remove corkscrew as well to really extend this coaster's layout? Now, I'm not saying that's going to happen, though I am saying we have to look at it as a possibility because we have no idea what Cedar Point's going to be doing with this coaster going forward or let alone when it's going to reopen. Now, the best case scenario, in my opinion, would be having Intamin come in and redoing the launch, possibly using the LSMs to get the train up to speed. And in past videos, I showed you exactly how this could be done, considering Red Force at Ferrari Land in Spain offers the same style of launch, and that roller coaster is 367 feet tall. But the key component here is the actual length from where the station is all the way to the top hat. And as you can see, the difference between Dragster and Red Force, you can really definitely add a lot more LSMs for Dragster's length to really make the train reach the speed that it needs to make to go over the 420 foot tall top hat. Now, there might also be a way to add some LSMs going up the vertical part of the top hat. I don't know, but that would be really cool to think about. But the key word here is, as you know it. So that tells me that Dragster is staying at Cedar Point. Now, it's probably going to have a new name. I don't think we'll have a completely new name. They'll probably just have a new, you know, Dragster's Revenge or something like that. So there was a reason why the lights were turned on the Draxler's Towers in August. I really do feel as if that was more of a hint, as in the ride is staying. Now, I will admit, that could be completely wrong, but just think about the huge PR nightmare if Cedar Point would officially remove Top Door Draxler altogether. At least they're not doing that. So we have a ton of markings all around the Draxler area, around the base of the top hat, around the station, as well as the launch area, and even the exit. So I'm going to make a really bold prediction here and say that the layout itself will change. I don't think it'll change a ton, but I definitely think we're going to see something added to the layout to make it more of a complete ride experience. Now, the only downside with going that direction would have to be capacity. So Cedar Point would have to be kind of, you know, creative on how they can make sure this roller coaster can have the same style of throughput as Draxter once did. But again, it's very interesting for them to say, legacy of ride innovation continues. Our team is hard at work creating a new and reimagined ride experience. 
So I definitely think that we will still have a roller coaster in this location. So they're definitely not going to remove it altogether or potentially turn the top hat into like a drop tower. So that's great. Now, what I hope that comes from this is the relationship between Intamin and Cedar Fair gets repaired. That way, we can start to see new Intamins pop up at other Cedar Fair parks. Because I know I'm a huge Intamin fan, and they make great roller coasters, and the reliability has been so much better as of late. So, again, I really hope that this is the best case scenario. We still get to keep Draxter somewhat and hopefully it's Intamin working on the project. This will improve the relationship between Intamin and Cedar Fair going forward. Now if the plan is to extend the coaster's layout, here's where I'm thinking they could possibly do just that. You have this giant area just to the right of the actual launch that could easily be used to extend the coaster's layout. Also, I could definitely see Draxter get extended to fill part of the infield of the coaster as well. But again, there's so many possibilities and I don't want to rule out the vertical spike that could be located right here to really get the train up to momentum if they decide to go with an LSM Intamin rolling launch. And if that would be the case, I would definitely love to see a bunny hill included that way it just adds a great pop of airtime as you're traveling around 120 125 miles an hour and now for my craziest thought and craziest prediction yet could we see cedar point decide to add on to build more to the tower of top door dragster making it the world's tallest roller coaster now mind you king de ka is only 456 feet tall which makes dragster only 36 feet shorter which really isn't a ton of feet so if there's a way that cedar point and intamin could potentially add on around 40 feet to this coaster then Cedar Point would be home to the world's tallest roller coaster yet again, which obviously would be awesome for Cedar Point and all of us as well. Now, obviously, that project is pretty far-fetched and very unlikely to happen, but it's a great what-if to think about because that would really put Cedar Point back on the map, and especially if this coaster offers a little bit more to the layout, we could be really looking at a top 10, top 20 potential coaster. So enough about me. I want to know what you're thinking right now because this news is so fresh. So please share with me all of your comments, all your thoughts on exactly what you think is going to happen with Top Door Dragster and what is up Cedar Point sleeves with this new coaster. And by the way, I think Dragster might have a chance to reopen in 2024, but maybe 2025. But nonetheless, it looks like Cedar Point's next coaster, quote unquote, is going to be a reimagined Top Throw Dragster. And I'm honestly very excited to see what the park has in store for us. As always, thank you so much for watching. Remember to smile today, think positive, and keep riding coasters.